going to die here any second. I do need to switch out the So not ideal conditions here. I wanted to get the GoPro put up on the dash. I'll still try to do that, but just taking a quick drive around Vanderbilt University. I've been to Nashville before. I have never been to this campus. Admittedly, I am not going to get out and walk around. I'm actually just going to try to look for a spot where I can kind of pull in, throw my hazard lights on, get a little bit better equated, acquainted with uh, some space. But I don't know if that's going to be a possibility. Yeah, where I'm going. So since my GoPro GoPro battery is not cooperating at the moment, I, I'm just gonna try to do real driving around real slow. Um, not exactly what I was hoping to see, but. I did also realize that this campus was very much uh, in a uh, city setting, so I, I should have expected this. So I was able to pull over a little bit, switch out the GoPro battery, reset my GPS for some hot chicken on my way out of town. And I just passed the medical center for Vanderbilt on my left, which I, I, was, I was in a little bit earlier. So this won't be as interesting as I would have hoped for how, you know, but I'll be able to put it in with just some of the general trip footage for sure. I'm hoping to get a, an actual walk uh, through the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. I'm hoping to be able to do that. Um, if, if my sister and the kids want to go, I'm hoping to be able to do that. If they don't really want to go or if the weather's not cooperative, I think I might be able to do it on Friday before I fly out. I've been to Nashville a couple of times uh, in the past. I've only been able to explore it a little bit in the past, but I just drove through a section where there's some really nice homes kind of just off, I feel like what is just off of campus a little bit. I feel like it's kind of a, a nice community. So the hot chicken sandwich I had at BJ Hot Chicken on near 40 East so I could head out towards Knoxville. It was really good. I really liked it. I probably could have taken it a little bit spicier. So I'll know that for next time. But it was really good. I'm really glad I stopped. I sat inside and made time to sit and enjoy it. And now I'm hitting the road to visit the family. I'll bring you along for part of it. outside of Cookville, Tennessee. On my way back on Friday, I am going to try to turn off and see if I can't find the, um, like where they do the like CrossFit Mayhem. Uh, Dottie likes to do CrossFit. I don't think I'll have time to like go in and look around. Maybe I will, hopefully I will. Uh, I'd like to get a cup of coffee from their spot because they have that, um, 
the, I forget, I forget the name of it. I'll, 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 it's escaping me at the moment. I'll look it up and put it in the comments. But um, I would like to try a cup of that coffee that I feel like they serve there. Maybe just take some photos for Dottie. But that's hopefully the plan for Friday is hit the University of Tennessee in Knoxville, do a quick walk around, and then hit and drive around a little bit in Cookville, get some pictures, and do all of that before my evening flight out of Nashville. Welcome back. We are just about to the outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. We're headed east. My family, my sister let me know that her and her husband and the kids made it to the destination that we're headed to. So up here the freeway splits a hot second. We're going to take the 40 east towards Knoxville continue our route this way and it should be about an hour to the location that we were all meeting up at. So about two hours from Nashville to Knoxville. You need to keep that in mind for Friday my flight is later in the evening, but uh, I want and I lose an hour. So the eastern part of Tennessee is an hour is on the East Coast time, whereas Nashville is on Central time. So I need to keep that in mind uh, for my Friday afternoon plans. But it looks like we're coming up to just the outside of uh, Knoxville here back in a little bit. Exit here to 411 South towards Newport. We were looking originally in the Gatlinburg area. There weren't as many options. At the time, we were thinking we were going to have the dog with us. We were thinking we were taking a road trip. So plans changed, obviously, and uh, We are now, obviously I flew in today and then I'm just driving from Nashville to the, our meetup site. But we were thinking Gatlinburg, Smoky Mountains, just some stuff, outdoorsy activities if we could with the kids, visit with family. Uh, this is the first I'll have uh, visited with my sister since actually pre-COVID, so right before COVID. I was home in March of 2020 for a funeral, not COVID related, but my granny passed away at 98 years of age. But then obviously COVID happened and last summer it just didn't seem like I could really fully get away for any sort of trip, even if we were to just meet up somewhere. So I'm happy to have an opportunity to do that this summer. 
I really wish Dottie was able to have come with me. She was initially supposed to. We were initially going to make the road trip, and that's when we were going to bring the dog. One of the dogs, anyways. Milo probably would have stayed uh, with Dottie's mom in San Antonio. He's the easier of the two to manage uh, for her. But uh, then some good news happened with her work and uh, some stuff going on with her work. So we, but that good news for her meant that we needed to slightly adjust. And I wasn't gonna not come by any means. I, I just, I just was gonna change plans a little bit. So I, I still get to see my sister and my brother-in-law and the kids. I really wish Dottie would have been able to come with me, but I'm just happy to get a chance to see him because it's been over two years. The pandemic really kind of messed a lot of things up, a lot of travel up for a lot of people, right? For my future reference though, there is a KOA campground here with uh, RV spots. I gotta be honest though, um, I'm, I'm in a rental car from Nashville to uh, you know the, the Smoky Mountain area. Oh, I see the KOA up here on the right, which is great. We like KOAs, but um, the car that I'm in is a small SUV. It's getting pretty good gas mileage, but it's so hilly and up and down, like Smoky Mountain up and down, that the cruise control really wouldn't work. And so up and down, I would be absolutely terrified of the gas mileage that we would get towing our recreational trailer, our RV trailer, travel trailer. So I don't know that the RV travel trailer is in Tennessee's future with us. It would be great if it was, but gosh, I feel like we would have to plan for a lot of extra time in travel because we would have to, you go slower in an RV or in a travel trailer, right? But it's so up and down. I had a hard time maintaining speed even in a regular vehicle. But I'm a, about a mile or so, I think from where we're gonna be staying. I'll bring you back in a second. turn here. I feel like this might be my turn. 